Biomedical Foundations Through Clinical Cases. This innovative program integrates basic science education with more than 60 clinical cases to give the subject more real-life meaning. Students are encouraged to connect concepts as they're presented with hundreds of scenarios. Based on trials, we've found that students themselves are excited to learn this way, at their own pace, in their own time, and without any perceived peer pressure so concepts can be reviewed again and again until fully understood. I just did osteoporosis and it is great because in basic tissues course I just learned about bone and bone remodeling and as well as the cells involved. Um, we learn about it separately in class but after watching or doing the interactive module I'm able to tie everything together very nicely. It talks about the physiology, the pathology, the progression of the disease as well as how um, an interdisciplinary team could work together and ultimately outline a treatment plan helping me realize why we're learning this, what's the real life applications. Animations, games, custom illustrations and a wealth of activities are used to keep students entertained and engaged as they move through the material. More than 100 animations are used to explain complex processes. In this animation, from the HIV case for example, the replication process of HIV is explained. After the binding of the virus to the host cell, the fusion takes place under the influence of the viral GP41 molecule. Games like this are added as well to keep students on their toes while they watch. In this one, from the myocardial infarction case, students are asked what's happening to this patient. Uh, oh, Is everything uh, all right, Harold? Uh, oh, no! Uh, what seems to be the problem? Oh, uh, it's my chest! Mm. What do you think is happening to Mr Estevez? No, that's not right. The breathlessness and location of the pain indicate a heart attack. Activities are used to keep students engaged with the material. Here, for example, students can select abnormal heartbeats and hear how they sound. And custom-made high-quality illustrations are used throughout to convey key concepts. If you put the time into it, uh, these modules can be, I feel, one of the best ways to retain the information, be able to apply it to a clinical setting, and just a better way to learn in general. It's a little more fun when I get a click around um, and choose different answer choices or um, click different parts of the body where uh, the disease or uh, what symptoms affects which part of the body. Definitely it, it will help me with my um, interactions with patients in the future. The program supports basic science education in these areas using more than 60 cases. The totality of these, along with foundation knowledge, would likely cover all the concepts currently in dental curricula. Although the content has been designed to support typical curricula, a degree of customization is possible to meet any local needs or requirements. By teaching basic sciences through cases, students can connect concepts that reflect their future day-to-day -day clinical environment. Within all the subject areas, repetition is intentional for reinforcement and retention. While the cases focus on basic sciences, they do provide students with guidance on dental and interprofessional management of the condition as well. Students are expected to have a foundation knowledge in all areas presented, including biochemistry, cell biology, anatomy and histology. These modules are supplements, not substitutes, to foundation knowledge. Schools can pick and choose which cases they'd like to use and in which order, in line with their curriculum and needs. Each of these cases is based around a medical condition to provide relevant context for reviewing key basic science concepts. And what I like about these uh, modules is that it really integrates everything together from anatomy to histology to the physiology to do these modules and especially when you're doing the material in classrooms at the same time it does solidify it so two hours a month is not unreasonable at all um, and they are enjoyable. 
Each of these 45-minute cases delivers crisp and concise concepts in basic and clinical sciences. Every case has been written and peer-reviewed by leading faculty from a selection of globally recognized academic institutions so that the cases will challenge and provoke thought. Hemoglobin consists of two major entities. One, the globular protein known as globin. Two, the heme structure which contains iron, the actual atom which binds to oxygen. For further information, students are directed to references like digital textbooks and high-impact review articles, as well as reputable organizations like the World Health Organization, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, and Leading Health Science Centers. The modules also provide an opportunity for faculty to refresh their knowledge in the comfort of their office or home. We provide in this package brief, maybe two-minute, overviews of the concepts, take-home messages that students can see in the context of patient care. This is a supplement, not a substitute to existing curriculum. Faculty need to look at this as an opportunity to link various courses with various concepts. Students feel that the multimedia aspect of this, having actors, having tests, having animations, having images, all contribute to a far better way of learning. This is the future of education. As a result of this focused and engaging approach, performance has been positive. A 30% improvement in student performance was seen after students watched a case. And feedback about the first case, on gastroesophageal reflux disease, is also positive, with the majority of students saying the content is engaging and will impact their practice. The diagrams combined with uh, the questions to see how I'm coming along and rep repetitive questions actually on the same material is helpful for me. Having it tied into real cases though does make the basic science seem a little more accessible and relevant. The program can be delivered on your learning management platform or you may decide to use the Global Dental Schools Network platform, which allows easy progress tracking of the systems and cases. For each case, the system allows you to administer pre-course self-assessments. This can include our standard questions or any you might choose to define. After watching the case, students can also be given a post-course assessment. They can then be asked for their feedback about the content. Again, you can use our standard feedback questions or any you'd like to add. Students can also be given certificates of course completion. Faculty can use student assessment data for baseline comparisons and can evaluate answers to specific questions to see areas of weaknesses and areas for further learning. It's sort of like you're delving into a person, like you're being shrunk down and you're sort of, um, I don't know, magic school busing your way through you know, the digestive system. I like them because you can go at your own pace, you can repeat, um, and it's sort of, at least for me, it's a non-pressure learning environment. This program offers institutions a step towards an integrated curriculum and helps to contextualize the basic sciences. It's also a step forward in your e-learning curriculum. If you'd like to discuss this further, please contact Healthcare Learning Smile On for more details.